why it is good news that President Trump tested negative for coronavirus, and this question is mounted over his personal risk in face of the coronavirus pandemic. Now that we just come out, our person is negative for coronavirus. And this is uh, actually the reasonable question to ask. Also, based on the pandemic protocol, and anyone have contact of these uh, people who have tested positive for the, for the virus should be tested or you should be have self isolating so that's it not it is the right thing to do because the person have been uh, have contact with serious people who have test positive for the coronavirus for example a person that attended the conservative conference where a people was test positive for the coronavirus and also person come in contact with the congressman who was exposed to the virus and actually test come back for the congress congressman is also positive. And in last weekend, uh, President Trump housed a official conference between the United States and Brazil and person meet a Brazilian official apparently he take a picture with official and the official was later on with test positive uh, with coronavirus so all evidence suggests that this possibility that President Trump may already have contact with the virus but that's nice. A uh, person did test and to confirm that what he said, he is no symptom. He do not feel anything. And also is that he don't have the virus. And the test was done on, on the Friday, Friday evening. And that just, of course, for the precaution. And that doctor informed him that its test was negative and that's really really good news for the nation and for the world so our our president is is negative for the coronavirus and his health is not affected by the coronavirus in the light of his so busy and talk to so many people and many of them may already have infected with by the virus. In the world, despite coronavirus pandemic continues to impact popular life and with more closures and more travel restriction and also a serious extreme measures in order to contain this virus spread, spread around the world. And Spain, France announced a national lockdown so in in France, the, the very popular sites such as Eiffel Tower and Louvre Museum are closed down in different time. And in China, where the coronavirus outbreak started last year, the new cases brought in by people arriving in the country outnumber those by local transmission for the first time. And that's a really, really challenge for China. So now the virus will first, the virus is exported from China to all of the world. Now that it is looks like it's beginning, the virus was uh, imported from outside. And that's his challenge. So the men likely need to continue to take measure to control this virus. And also uh, China announced that uh, mandatory 14 day quarantine for any inbound travelers. So that means if you go to China right now, uh, you, as soon as you arrive in China airport, 
and you're going to have 14 day mandatory work quarantines and that's just a huge trouble and so basically said it, they tell you that try not to travel to China because the 14 days you can you're not supposed to do anything if you have a business trip and that's well, not impo not possible for you to do anything and in the United States and uh, also have continued to take uh, much more measures to uh, control the spread of the virus and this uh, United States spending travel from United Kingdom in Ireland and these two countries are not in the least in the last announcement so now and the United States is actually banning almost all the European countries to uh, to travel from from the country to US again this is right measure in the short term we may have economic or suffering and also have an inconvenience for people but in order to control this virus this is the right place to do night nice thing to do and also based on experience in China and South Korea and that's only that's the only way to do so China did a very good job they locked down the country for about one month and everyone have very restricted and so in one month they, they was able to actually control the epidemics of the virus but in in the developed country we need more freedom we still not complete knocked down the country people still have the freedom to do whatever they like and i wish that this is going to work but we only time will tell and we just wish the best but we need to prepare for the worst and that's video for today if you like my video please subscribe my channel and thank you for your attention and i'm going to see you in my next video bye